Hello friends, my name is Deepika Lalwani and I would like to welcome all of you on my YouTube channel. Today we are going to learn the first chapter of standard 12th of the subject economic which is graph and economics. First of all, let's talk about the introduction of this chapter. As we all know, our brain catches pictures and graphics faster. In the same way, the statistical information like death rate, birth rate are created in the form of diagrams and graphs for the better understanding. So, in this chapter we will learn various topics like meaning of a diagram and a graph which includes importance of a diagram and graphs in economics, aspects to be considered while drawing a diagram. Second, types of diagram. There are three types of diagram. First of all, time based line diagram, second bar diagram and types of bar diagram and the third one pi diagram. After that we will learn about the types of graphs which include time series graph. And the last topic is use of technology in the study of economics. As you all know technology plays a very very important role in the study of economics. Here we will include three types of technology first computer technology internet technology and data series generally two types of pictures are used to represent the statistical information they are first graph and the second diagram as we have earlier discussed that the picture create an influence on the human mind they are used for the better understanding so let's move on the meaning of a diagram representation of the data by the way of picture is called diagram while drawing a diagram scales and measurements are used diagrams are used to represent the discrete frequency distribution discrete frequency distribution means a frequency distribution which is countable Let's take an example. Sales of an apple in a day. We can count how much sale is done in one day in a market. So it is called discrete frequency distribution. The picture of discrete frequency distribution is given below. So, so, so let's move on to our next topic that is meaning of a graph. It is also a representation of a data in form of a picture. Graph is drawn for the continuous frequency distribution. So let's learn about the continuous frequency distribution. Continuous frequency distribution means a frequency distribution having uncountable range which is not countable. It is divided in classes. Let's take an example. Income of an Indian citizen Picture of the continuous frequency distribution is given below. We can extend the graph up to 4 quadrants by intersecting x-axis and y-axis. The picture of 4 quadrant graph is given below. Graph is also drawn for the unclear information. So this is our video of this chapter. If you have liked our video, so please please give me a thumbs up and subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching our video. If you have request for any study related video, so please comment below. Another part of this chapter will be soon available. For watching another part, please subscribe our video. Thank you so much. See you soon. Miss you guys. Bye bye.